guys, it's Fee, and it's March already. How did that happen? How did that even happen? I feel like it was just like the beginning of January, and now it's the beginning of March. So, that means February favorites, right? I need to do a February favorites. I looked at my calendar yesterday, this morning. I think I was talking to Chelsea this morning. I'm like, oh my god, I feel like I'm behind now. It's already March. I, I need to record a February favorite. So here I am. Here I am. And luckily, because I'm a list maker, I did make a little list all month long so I didn't have to think too hard. <laughs> I have about 10, 11 items. I had a bunch of items last month too. I don't guarantee there to always be a lot of items each month. It's just kind of worked out that way last month and this month. Um, also, just because it's a favorite doesn't mean I purchased it this month. Um, I could have purchased it this month. If I did, I will tell you. But most of the time, it's just stuff that I find myself gravitating towards this particular month for some reason. All right, so I'm going to jump right in. I'm going to try and do these kind of in a quasi order that makes sense. And I'm going to start with beauty and makeup related stuff because I always seem to have a bunch of those. So I'm going to start with an eyeshadow, which shouldn't surprise any of you because I'm an eyeshadow whore. I have entirely too much eyeshadow and I certainly have entirely too many palettes, but I did purchase a palette. I believe I purchased this back in December. This is the Vegas Lights palette by Makeup Geek. No, Marlena did not pay me off. <laughs> I really love this palette. Um, I bought it a couple months ago, but I found myself using it like every day this month. I don't know if I just get in makeup ruts. I don't think it's necessarily a bad thing to get into a makeup rut, but I found myself grabbing this one and sometimes either the Naked 1 or Naked 3 palette by Urban Decay and using them together. This, this is what I have on today. You can kind of tell. I'm like, this is like, I'm looking at my clock, this is like nine hours old right now, so. Alright, the reason why I love this palette is all of the colors that I like are all in this palette all together. And you will see, it's getting used and abused, folks, we're even hitting pan on one. But I just, I love these colors. I, I like golds and neutrals and um, pinks even though I don't wear pink very often. Oh, look at that. I've actually got pink on today. One of the few shirts I own with pink in it. Um, anyhow, <laughs> and I always like these kind of highlighter colors. I use them on the inside. I use them on the top. Love it. Love it. And this stuff is crazy easy to blend. It's crazy, crazy highly pigmented. So I really, I'm barely touching these, and, and, and look at that. Look at that. That It just, it looks freaking amazing. And you can tell I'm not a beauty blogger because I don't have anything to wipe my hand off with right now. <laughs> Anyhow, um, I love this palette. Love it. Um, you can get it from MakeupGeek.com. It's a little bit more on the pricey side because Marlena doesn't have like a huge, gigantic following yet. Like, I don't know, Urban Decay. <laughs> so um, her palettes are a little bit more expensive, but oh my god, it's so worth it. And since I'm hitting pan on this already, I'm probably going to order another one. Love it. Okay, next beauty thing. I'm going to stick with the makeup stuff. This is a blush by Milani. There's a lot of makeup vloggers out there that rave about this color. They say it's good for any look. It's good for any skin type. Oh, my God. They really are right. This is the color Luminoso by Milani. Milani is a drugstore brand. It's really not that expensive. And it's amazing. It's a baked blush. You get a pretty decent amount there. You can see the dome. The inside of it does have like this goofy little brush in there. I don't recommend it. It even has a little mirror on the inside. I, it's, it's designed well. I don't use the brush. I, I just, I'm picky with brushes. But this blush is just amazing. Um, I use it as a highlight up here. It is, I do have it on right now. Don't know if you could tell. 
I, I just love it. I, I think I use this every single day this month. And I'm probably a late bloomer with this. This stuff has been out for a while. People have been using it for forever and raving about it for forever. And I finally did decide to go and get this at the end of January. And I did use it all this month. It's amazeballs. Go get one if you're looking for a blush that's not like crazy colored and goes with anything and is a nice highlighter and it stays on your face, which is an important part if you ask me. Milani Baked Blush in Luminoso. Next, next, all right. Those are like the big time makeup-y kind of stuff, but we're gonna start going to like slowly to skincare now, kind of. Baby Lips. I've been using Baby Lips for like two years now, I think, and I haven't stopped. <laughs> but I find myself using the medicated ones in the winter yes it's the beginning of march but it's still crazy cold where i live and the chap lips are in full effect this is medicated baby lips i i have i don't know how many of these floating around at any given time but for whatever reason i have been stuck on the color coral crave love it it's it's on my lips right now but you can see that this doesn't look like that because it doesn't put a whole lot of color on your lips. And I think it looks a little bit different depending on what color your lips are naturally because this is only a tint. It's not like a lipstick. Um, I very rarely wear lipsticks. I like tinted lip balms. Anyhow, I just love this and I've been using it all month. And it's been keeping my lips non-chapped, which is an amazing, amazing thing. So this is Baby Lips Dr. Rescue Medicated Tinted Lip Balm. You can get it at the drugstore. It is by Maybelline. Okay, face care now. Face care. Last month, I believe one of my favorites was a mask with Manuka Honey in it. Um, you guys have heard me say numerous times, I love anything with honey in it. Whether it's beauty stuff, or eating stuff, or drinking stuff. If it's got honey in it, sign me up. Um, last month, I did find a firming skin serum that had Manuka honey in it. And this is by Lanolin. I found mine at TJ Maxx. I know you can get this online. I'm sure there are other stores that carry it, but I don't know them off the top of my head because I'm a huge Amazon shopper if I can't find it at Sephora. So, I found this last month. I didn't want to use say that it was a favorite last month because I hadn't used it for very long. But I did use this all this month. I use it in the morning. I put my toner, I spray my toner on my face, then I put like two little tiny pumps of this and I spread it all over my face and this is kind of like it kind of feels like a gel um, I didn't like the way it felt without a toner on my face to like kind of help disperse it better but with the toner it's perfect and I really really like the way this stuff feels I do think it's firmed my skin a little bit um, and I've used it every single morning it smells amazing and I like the way it feels so this has been a favorite just because I've used it every single dang day and I do like it. So it's by Lanolin and it is a skin firming serum with Manuka honey in it. Okay, last beauty item. This is another skin item. Um, I've been, you guys know I'm like a crazy mask person. Uh, the majority of what I use is sheet masks, but it's not everything that I use. There is one item that I hate even admitting getting addicted to because it's insanely priced. But I love it because it's amazing and sometimes you get what you pay for. Not all the time, but this time you do. It is by Glam Glow. And you can't even tell who it's by because all the ink rubbed off of this. <laughs> this was a sample that I got from Sephora. It is one of their deluxe size samples. It was in a set over Christmas. Um, there is a tiny bit left in this bottle, but I made it last for like two months. 
and then I said I, I need to go out and get the real thing. So since the, since you can't tell what this is, I'm going to show you what the real thing looks like. This is by Glam Glow, and it is their Thirsty Mud. Glam Glow Thirsty Mud, you're getting a crazy glare off of that. Sorry guys. Glam Glow, right? This stuff smells amazing. Amazing. And it makes my skin feel amazing. I normally put it on at night. It's, it's like a thick, heavy cream. I, I wouldn't call it a mud, but I can see why they give it that name. I would call it a thick, heavy cream. You put it all over your face. Their instructions say you can leave it on for like 10 to 20 minutes and then take it off. Or if you use it at night, you can just leave it on and go to sleep. Now that's what I do. I put it on right before I'm going to go to sleep. And I let my skin absorb it all night long. It does not get on my pillow or anything like that. You don't really have to worry about that. Um, I mean, as long as you don't like take a her face first into your pillow like two minutes after you put this on your face, then yeah, that would probably be a bad idea. But I've never had a problem with it getting on my pillow. And in the morning, my skin just feels baby soft. So, you know, this stuff is supposed to be kind of like an all-in-one thing. It's supposed to moisturize and hydrate and replenish and calm and repair and all of that kind of fun stuff. Other than the fact that it works amazing, I just think it smells amazing. I can't even describe it. I just, I want to eat this stuff. It smells so good to me. It has olive leaf and ginger root and coconut oil in it. I'm sure the combination of that helps. I definitely smell like like the olivey almost almost almond in this because there are little flecks in this that look like it's probably pieces of the olive leaf that they're using in this. But then I read the back of the box and yes it has all those things in it. But it also has orange blossom honey in it. Did not know that. I swear to God, I did not know that when I bought this. But, oh my God, that's got to be the reason why I think it smells amazing. And it works amazing. I cannot tell you how much I recommend this stuff. Now, the bad part... All right, you guys see how big that is, right? There. Compared to my face. That's how big it is. This thing is $69. What? $69 freaking dollars, which is why... I made this little guy last as long as I could, and then I used a 10% off coupon when I bought this, which helped. Um, yeah, I hate the fact that I'm addicted to this because of how expensive it is, but I love it, and I used it like crazy this month, which is why this little guy ran out, and I had to go and get a new one. Okay, that's all of the beauty and skincare stuff. I'm going to move on to like food-ish type items tea tea um i drink tea pretty often at least one cup a day sometimes i drink two depending on how i'm feeling i make it at work i make it in the morning sometimes i make it at night um this month though i did have to switch off of my regular teas because i went caffeine free I am currently pregnant, so I am trying to stay pregnant by going caffeine-free. Long story behind that. I'm not going to get into it, um, but it is one of the things that they recommended me to do. A lot of people are okay with, you know, drinking one cup of caffeine, whatever, a day, and they're fine. I I'm not even going to chance that. So I went caffeine-free. Not all of the teas I drink are herbal. Herbal means... There aren't any tea leaves in them, so there's no caffeine. Some of the other teas I drink are actual tea leaf teas. Like if you read the back, it'll say black tea leaves or green tea leaves or oolong tea or any kind of tea leaf means there's caffeine in it. So I had to put those away for a while. And I got addicted to a different tea this month that I'm going to share. It is by Tiavana. And it is Pineapple Kona pop. Now there's a whole bunch of herbal teas that I have. I really like fruity herbal teas. Um, another one of my favorite brands is Argo Tea. I love Argo Tea, but for whatever reason I got addicted to this one because this, I, I've seen a lot of teas with pineapple in them. This one actually has pineapple chunks in it and oh my god it really does taste like pineapple tea. 
Um, a lot of times they'll put a fruit on a name of a tea and it's like, eh, I kind of taste it. No, there's no mistaking this. This tastes like pineapple and it's amazing. I like drinking it in the morning. I think the pineapple helps wake me up. And I like the fact that it kind of seals because when you open the bag on the inside, I, when I open it, it almost went everywhere. It's like they use like crazy glue on this stuff. But I just wanted to show you. Here's the full bag, right? It was full up to about here. So that's how much I've used in four weeks. <laughs> but let's see if I can find this in here. Just so you guys know, I'm not exaggerating. Look at that. See that? It's the actual pineapple pieces in there. And you open this up, you open this up, it smells like Hawaii. That's the best way I can describe it. It smells like Hawaii. And it's amazing. So I have been addicted to this with a little agave nectar in it, and I've been good to go. Okay, next food type item. The actual, the next three items I have aren't actual food. They're more like food accessories, but I'm going to go with it. This crazy little thing. Um, my husband and I went shopping at TJ Maxx um, end of January. And he doesn't always go with me. Normally he doesn't, but he was looking for some of these uh, shortbread cookies that are kind of hard to find. And the TJ Maxx near me has been carrying them lately. So he wanted a refill because my husband is like the cookie and ice cream monster. But that's another story. Um, and while we were there, he found in the clearance aisle, it was a pack that was supposed to have three of these. Um, someone probably stole one. And there was only two left. So this was marked down to like... I don't know, a buck or two. I don't even remember. It was crazy cheap. And what these are is they're dressing containers. The bottom is silicone. So you can fill this up all the way up to the top. And because you can, like, you know, finagle it, <laughs> um, you can get, like, every single last drop of dressing out of here. It's really, it makes it really easy to clean also. And you can see it's nice and sealed because... The silicone bottom actually goes up over the top. See it there? And then this is just a squeeze spout. And it doesn't look like it would hold much, but it, it probably holds more dressing than I should put on my salad, so I find myself only filling it halfway. But I, I love this. Uh, I've used a lot of different kind of dressing containers. Not all of them have worked. Some of them have been a pain to clean. Um, some of them accidentally open in my lunchbox when I bring it to work. These have been perfect. I have no idea where you would get these, but they are marked with the brand Every Holder. I'll put that down here. Probably because you probably can't see it on there. Every Holder. So, I'm sure you could find them online somewhere. I got two in a pack that should have had three, and I got it for practically nothing, and they're amazing, and I've used them all month long. Next, food accessory. You guys are going to laugh. You're going to laugh because it's feet green and also because of what it is. It, it's an aluminum straw. <laughs> I, my husband and I have a ton of these. We have about maybe ten, all different colors. Um, we got them a couple summers ago. At actually at a gas station chain by the name of Thornton's and Thornton's has in the summer at least they have like a slushy machine that is larger than the average slushy machine that you find at most gas stations with like I don't know five or six flavors in it and that's where we came across these. They sold these near the slushy machine. I guess the aluminum is supposed to conduct the cold and help keep your drink cold longer and blah, 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 blah. That is originally why we got these, to use them in, like, homemade shakes and whatnot. But I find myself using this every day just in my water bottle. I have a glass water bottle that I keep at work, and I have another one that I keep at home. And for whatever reason, if I kept the straw in the water bottle, I drank more water. I can't really explain that one. I, I, I don't know. So, but I wasn't going to argue with it. So I actually have one of these at work that's magenta colored in my water bottle. 
and I've been using this one at home. Yes, it's fee green, because <laughs> everything I own is fee green. Um, actually, I didn't want to bring the fee green one to work because I was afraid it was going to get lost, <laughs> or if I forgot it there, and yeah, I don't know. Anyhow, I can't, yeah, I can't really explain this, but it's environmentally some, and I'm not wasting a ton of disposable straws, so that's a good thing. So yes, I, I've been attached to my aluminum straws this month. Last food related item is something that I got at Hobby Lobby of all places. I went to Hobby Lobby for some yarn. Imagine that. <laughs> and Hobby Lobby, I know that the, the store is not nationwide, so let me try and describe this to you. It's it's like it's like a craft store on steroids. It's it's huge. It is a huge store. It is Christian owned, so it's not open on Sundays. But they carry every craft imaginable and aisles and aisles of each craft. And then on top of that, the whole center of the store is just every tchotchke you can imagine. Signs and frames and little knickknacks and candles and you could like kill a wallet in there. You really could. So <laughs> I went in and I try to avoid that center section because that could get really dangerous. But I did um, catch a couple of end caps out of the corner of my eye and something caught my attention. I couldn't pass it up. It is a glass bottle. It says it's filled with water right now. I probably shouldn't have done that. But, ooh, look at that. That's funky. All right, anyhow, it, it says country drinking jar. And it came with a reusable plastic straw. It's not aluminum, but it is reusable. The top is also aluminum. It's not like plastic where it's going to break after a while. And it's glass. <sighs> Did I need it? No, I didn't need it because I have a bunch of those mason jars. But I had never seen a drinking jar jug, really, before that was glass that came with one of these schnazzy little tops with, uh, yeah, so. And it was figurine. How can I pass it up? Really, come on, it was figurine. And it was on sale, because they were on clearance. And it was the only fee green one left. So if I would have walked out of there, then I would have been like, oh, I should have gotten that. And then I would have went back a couple days, it would have been gone. So I just said, you know what, I'm going to save myself the, the, the misery and I'm just going to buy it. I don't remember how much it was, but it was on clearance. I think it was, I think it was 40% off. And I got this beginning of the month. Beginning of the month. And I've been using it all month. This thing has like lived on my side table and in my fridge when I've been asleep. <laughs> so I love it. All right, one last food item. And it's too big for me to like have it in front of me and say, hey, here it is. So I'm gonna put a picture here. This is an instant pot. Um, some of you are laughing because <laughs> I'm sure you were expecting it. Um, this is a pressure cooker. It's an electric pressure cooker. Chelsea got me addicted. I've done a couple of hashtags that have literally said that on Instagram. And the reason why I say Chelsea got me addicted is because Chelsea has been doing, if you don't know Chelsea, is a link or below. Um, she's been doing the occasional vlog of recipes using the Instant Pot. And a couple of them caught my attention. And then one day she did risotto in like seven minutes. And I was like, what? Seven minutes? Now granted, you gotta let it come up to fresher, so it's a little longer than that, but it's all hands-off time. I don't have to stand by a stove and like stir it for 45 minutes. I was like, sign me up. Sign me up. So I ordered one. I ordered one and I've used it all month. I've used it all month. Um, actually wrote down everything so I wouldn't forget. I've used it for the risotto, which was amazing. I've used it for beef roast. I've used it for chicken, both for myself and also for one of my kitties. I do have a sick kitty right now that needs to stay on chicken and rice. And I've been able to do the chicken and rice in the Instant Pot in like no time at all, which has been a godsend because um, I'm not used to making homemade kitty food. <laughs> I've done hard boiled eggs. Now I know you're thinking, okay, you could do hard boiled eggs on the stove, but they've come up perfect every single time. 
And yes, I've used egg timers and other things and whatnot. Something always seems to go wrong. Either they don't peel quite right or the inside isn't quite the yellow that I like to see it. I'm really picky with hard-boiled eggs. That's probably the problem. They've been perfect every time out of the Instant Pot. Um, then I did mashed potatoes. No milk. No milk, just mashed potatoes with stock and a couple of other things like garlic and onions and things like that. And I fed them to my husband and he said, you're not allowed to boil or bake a potato ever again. <laughs> ever, ever again. And frankly, I've got to agree with them because they were perfect. They were perfect. I hand mashed them myself, which really wasn't that big of a deal. Kitty cat, sorry. Um, and the first time I did them, I would say in the middle, there were a couple, he's being cute. <laughs> there were a couple of pieces that I hadn't quite mashed enough. And I, I, I you know, I had split the serving in half. I gave some to my husband and some to myself. And we both got a couple of pieces that weren't quite mashed up enough just because I haven't hand mashed mashed potatoes in I don't know how many years. And he was like, you know what, I don't care because they're like cooked perfectly all the way through. And Chelsea said this in one of her videos, and she was absolutely right. A lot of times you bake or you boil potatoes, and if they're not perfect, you know, you can run into a spot that's slightly overcooked, slightly undercooked, maybe, you know, a small little spot that's maybe a little colder than it's supposed to be. That doesn't happen with instant pot mashed potatoes. They're perfect. Perfect. And I'm sure if I left them as whole potatoes and just served them as baked potatoes, it would be the same thing. Now, funny part, funny part, I made those once and I lost track of how many times I made them all throughout the month because my husband was like, well, they only take you seven minutes to make. Can you make more? I, <laughs> I think there was one week where he requested it like three or four times. So <laughs> that many potatoes for fee is not good, but thankfully I can just make him some. It doesn't take long and it's perfect. Then... Then this, this, this is, this is the awesome part. Then I made corned beef. I made a whole corned beef meal. Um, a three pound flat corned beef with potatoes and um, carrots. I didn't do cabbage. Normally I would, but I didn't have any on hand. And I did that in one hour. Now anybody that's made corned beef before, you know it takes like eight hours. It takes all stinking day. One hour and it was perfect it was amazing oh, amazing so yes i'm i'm addicted it's chelsea's fault and <laughs> i've used this instant pot all month long and i don't see it stopping anytime soon i got mine on amazon i will put that link below hopefully i'll remember um if you're interested in checking it out yourself it does a whole ton more things than pressure cooking it's also a slow cooker it's a rice cooker it's a yogurt maker it has a saute feature so you can saute meat right in the instant pot before you go and either slow cook or pressure cook what else does the thing do it's a steamer it, it's it's like a kitchen robot chelsea called it a kitchen robot it's a kitchen robot absolutely you don't need anything else it's awesome one item left and it is a clothing item and let's not forget, this is a February favorites, right? But it's a scarf. It's a scarf with shamrocks all over it. <laughs> now, I think I put this on Instagram and I said, is it too soon for shamrocks? I did wait till after Valentine's Day, so that makes it okay. I waited until after the previous holiday. People can't yell at me. I've worn this numerous times this month. This was given to me as a Christmas gift. I love it. I love the little strings. And it's crazy, crazy, crazy soft. Um, I love scarves, but I don't like itchy scarves. I don't like itchy scarves, um, especially if I if I put them close to my neck. I don't want to feel like I want to tear them off all day long. Um, I want to feel comfortable in them. And this, this scarf, it's not silk, but it feels like silk. <laughs> it feels like silk. It was a gift. I know it was bought at a local Irish store. You may be able to find something similar to it online. But it has all shamrocks of all different sizes on it. It's a little wrinkly. Sorry, it needs to be ironed. I don't like ironing. I hate ironing. 
but it does need to be ironed. Either that or I just need to steam it. <laughs> and that's it. That's my last item. These um, favorite videos, this one and last month's went a little long because I had a whole bunch of items. Um, like I said, I don't guarantee them to always have a whole bunch of items, but I think it's fun when they do. <laughs> so hopefully you enjoyed this. I will be back with a March favorites next month, hopefully, as long as I have some stuff written on my list throughout the month so I don't get completely lost. Makes life much easier when you have a list. Lists make life so much easier. And I'm going to leave you on that note. All right, thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed this. Bye.